Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 40. Okay, uh, the previous episode was a great episode. Um, it had uh, two things which was like amazing. Uh, the number one was that uh, the whole uh, Krona confessing about like uh, his betrayal to Maka and Soul. That was like one of the best things and like it was a good thing for Krona for like the show itself. Like I was really thinking like when are they like going to uh, like tell everything when is Krona going to tell everything so like this whole uh, like weird kind of tension between him and the <coughs> like uh, uh, and the others and his other friends would like stop so thankfully he did that and I'm guessing it will go better from now on and that was the first best uh, like thing in that episode the other one was <laughs> Minusa appearing in Shimsen and saying that I'm surrendering like I don't know if that like he she is like really she means that I doubt she means that and I think like she's like up to one of his her like plans so <laughs> let's see like uh, what she actually is planning I'm guessing like it will shed some light uh, into this in like in this episode so yeah guys um, without further ado let's get started with episode number 40 of Soul Eater Okay, as always, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, another thing happened that was like uh, Arachne took control of uh, Ishin, kind of. Oh, there is Medusa. She's been chained. Oh yeah, he has, she has something in her mind. Transaction. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, transaction. Okay, uh, let me just guess what she is planning. I think, I don't know, like, is she planning somehow to, like, uh, leak the fact that, uh, like, Arachne does not have brew with her and she has it with her. And, like, most probably, like, that, uh, like, that information in, uh, like, return for something else from Shibusen. I'm not sure, but it might be something along those lines. Because that's the only thing that she has to bargain with, like the brew. And she's saying something about transaction, so that means she is like, like planning to take something from Shibusen and like give something in return. So like, that is the only thing she has as a, like a bargain, not a bargaining chip, but as something of value, like the brew and the information that she has the brew. So, like, is she, like, somehow trying to, like, um, like, I don't know, defeat Arachne? Who knows? Let's see. Oh, Stein is here. She might be here for Stein. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, she's pissed. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole thing with Krona. Oh my god. That cutesy voice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's messing with her deliberately. <clears throat> oh, my God! Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I bet. Or oh, mm. okay, calm down, Maka. She's like doing all of this deliberately. She has a plan, like she came here because of a plan, so I doubt she's going to stay there long. Who knows? Yeah, like she just came in just like that. Oh boy. Well, yeah, she's for here for Stein. Oh, she said something about like Krona not working out anymore. So like, yeah, like so to like, uh, like okay, let's see. Yeah, don't they didn't even know that Medusa is alive. Mm. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of uh, like. Like, like happy. Like prince princess story. <laughs> like it's saying like run away with me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yep. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> oh my god. He is like He's not even talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Uh, okay. Oh. Why? Oh, so she's using that, like, <laughs> yeah, that excuse. Uh, I doubt that. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, why? How? Wait, it said something about. <laughs> Okay, I doubt. Did she really put the brew over here, or something else? No. Oh, what is it? Box. Is that the brew? Yeah, it's the brew. No, this. <laughs> okay, so I was correct. Like she's using that as a uh, bargaining material. Yeah, oh, all right, so. Transaction, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, obviously. Thing. Well, yeah, she like gave the brew to them, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of true. Yeah, obviously, like, Shinigami, ha, huh, won't we? No, she doesn't have her full power. Oh, she's a lady? <laughs> Something like that. Damn. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> uh. Wow, that's a good way to sit. <laughs> Is that so? Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah that is definitely correct <laughs> oh my god she's running away mm. okay okay so what Um. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, so <laughs> like 
Like she herself unsealed the kitchen and now she's like selling the information where he is? Damn. Oh. Hmm. Trust. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, my team? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, obviously. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so she is controlling him. Madness intensification machine. Oh boy. She's like increasing the... Oh, okay. Oh boy, there it is. Oh. Damn. Okay, well, oh my god, Stein is going to be affected more. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, what? Right. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, she's nowhere near the signals. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> well, no choice. Guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she will like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, so who are this? Who is coming? Like, who is this guy?
Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> like. Mm, yep, you won't like it. What's happening? What? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No choice. <laughs> mm. But Medusa is something else, like Oh my god, Corona is... This... This... Like... Oh no... Did they really let her go like that? Just like that? Like, I think Shinigami has some kind of plan. I don't know what I feel. Oh boy. Oh no. Did he like run away from here? I think so. Oh no, yeah, he like, I think he followed Medusa. Yeah, he followed Medusa. Hmm. Well, this is going to happen sooner or later. Oh, new ending. Whoa, is that uh, Kishin? Like how he actually looks under the bandages? Okay, this is, uh, song is quite nice. Like, beginning. Okay. Oh, Free is going to come back, I'm guessing. Wow, this song is like good. Mifune. Oh, we're gonna see Blair? Like, Blair gets no screen time. It's like, nothing. Yeah, that's Kishin. Damn. Yep. So, I'm guessing. Like, like he is, like, uh, related to um, Kit and uh, Shinigami. Like, this is something that is, like, obvious. Like, uh, okay, that's the end. Like this is uh, like really obvious because uh, like when we saw Kishin for the first time when like under the bandages and uh, oh yeah we saw him under the bandages like in the episode when he was unsealed but he was not looking like this like now he looks a lot I don't know better cooler 
<laughs> in the ending okay anyways as i was saying like when i saw like kishan for the first time it was like really um like apparent that he is related to um kit because their hair and everything look the same and if he is related to kit somehow that means he is he's related to um Inigami. Most so like most probably like that uh, I don't know kid's brother or something. So yeah, I think that's the thing. So obviously um yeah like so this is a big thing like Shinigami versus Kishin and Arachne and Arachne also has Mifune with them and Medusa we still don't know what what she's going to do like uh like she is kind of like uh, I don't know like playing with. Like toying with, uh, like at least according to her, like they're dancing in the palm of her hands, like Shibusen, and um, <clears throat> also kind of like indirectly um, Arachne as well. So at least according to her, I'm not sure like what Shingami has actual planned, because obviously he let um, Mendoza go just like that. Now did she like it did? Shinigami really have no other plan than just like letting her go or there is something else like like something hidden like she is keeping hidden and which would probably get like help him get uh, like an advantage over Medusa I'm not sure like if he has something like that but like uh, it's really um I don't know like it's really uh, like weird not weird but it's like it's unthinkable that Shinigami would like just let Medusa go like that. He must have something, or I might be like, this might just be me like thinking. Anyways, we'll probably get to know that in future episodes. So, like, at least until now, uh, Medusa kind of kind of has the advantage, and uh, Stein also like ran away. So I don't know if like uh, Stein running away was also under one of her plans. Maybe she is like very calculating, so he might she might have like anticipated that this as well. Like Stein would probably like run away, and yeah. Mm, so <clears throat> okay, so this episode was so like so. Why did Medusa really like steal the brew just to like give it back to Shibusen so that she can use it as a bargaining uh, tool? I don't know. Like, was that the only reason she like snatched a uh, brew? Yeah, I think so. Like, that was her plan. Plan because obviously, like, uh, what will she do with brew? Like, if it is with some kind of organization, for example, like Arachne's organization or Shibusen's organization, they can probably like use it as kind of a uh, thing to threaten the other party. But what will she do with it? She is just like an individual with a few spies here and there. So obviously she, that like brew has no value with her and she herself has not like completely recovered. So she that was the reason why she took brew. Okay. So yeah, and I think like she could have like uh like gone either way like uh, not either way but she like chose Shibusen to like uh, offer the transaction because obviously like he she wanted to have like an upper hand over Shibusen getting Stein and like kind of like uh, uh, terrifying Krona as well at the same time like Krona looked at her and like uh, became scared again so yeah and also like uh, all of these things so she like went to Shibusen and she knew that uh, Shibusen would probably let her go. But if this was uh, with Arachne, if she went to Arachne and says something like, I have this brew, uh, I want uh, something in return. So if she said something like that, oh no, that won't work because obviously, like, uh, she made the deal for, like, what did she say? Like, uh, my um, people, like, leave my people, something. Let me check. Just a sec. Okay, here it is. I only wish that you can guarantee the safety of me and my team along with my immediate release. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is really a, a like kind of a sim simple wish. In did not 
like want something far-fetched so i'm guessing that is not her actual motive her actual motive must be something uh, related to like having shibusen uh, like as she said like uh, working as i want to like she has the control now like she like uh, presented the information and they'll probably do whatever like she thought that they're going to do so she has like an upper hand and she knows like what they're going to do she's probably going to like do some kind of uh, i don't know some other bad things regard like related to those and uh, also she has like uh, uh, stein with her now i'm guessing stein is going like following her i think so i think all of these things were the reason why like she went to shibusen and arachne obviously she has kind of a bone to pick with arachne and arachne also doesn't like her so also like if she like arachne somehow gets to know that yeah uh brew is with her she'd probably like uh like tell all of her like uh, arm like like lead all of her army and like kill medusa just to like take uh the thing and it obviously has not like so much uh, power now that she can withstand arachne's uh, strength so obviously like arachne got to know this it would have been me a been a bad thing so she like went to shibusen and like kind of made a deal with them and now uh, like if somehow like arachne gets to know that yeah uh, medusa made a deal with shibusen uh, like like this she would probably think twice now because obviously like she like she would think that shibusen has the like medusa has the backing of shibusen now she was the like arachne is going to think twice now before like going and killing medusa so yeah all of these things these are all my speculations i think like these are the reasons why she like did this kind of thing like went there and suddenly said that i'm surrendering just to like gain an upper hand on kind of everything like <clears throat> Like I said this before, but I I don't know. Like she, Medusa herself is a very bad type of character. Like her abusing um, Krona and all, and she herself being kind of manipulative and um, I don't know, like uh, bad technically. So generally bad, and uh, so all of these things like that is something that is true. But at the same time, as a villain, she is really um, something else. Like each and everything that she plans and does like she is not just brute fro force like uh, she's like like i've seen like a lot of like the anime kind of like goes into the same pattern of like the enemy being so strong like yeah i'm the strongest guy and he like goes and fights with our like the heroes uh, who are like the main protagonists of the anime they fight uh, like uh, the protagonists win and then after a few episodes we get another villain who is like stronger than the previous one and that this just continues like over and over and over again but still it is like fun but at the same time like this like this kind of uh villains who like use their heads and kind of like uh like plan everything and go step by step without like relying only on strength is really something uh, quite unique and yeah like i really that, like that thing about um, medusa as a character like she is unique like everything that she does and like everything that she is planning and doing is like quite unique and uh like there are a few uh, uh like uh, characters like medusa definitely uh like who are like evil but at the same time kind of like uh, intelligent plan strategically and does not like like rush and fight not that type of character like they use the brains as well so there are a few characters like them for example obviously the infamous light yagami from death note she's one of like uh, light is one of the like what can i say like <clears throat> brainiest villains from like anime so uh like obviously like uh Mirus is not at the level of light like light is something else but i'm I'm saying just saying that uh like 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 character like that like who uses their brain and like uh kind of like does a warfare which is like through uh physical means and as well as mental warfare as well so that is like medusa and i really like that thing about her like about her character like like just look at the villains uh in this uh, like uh, other villains in this uh, anime except from medusa for example um arachne like what is she doing she is just gathering more forces uh, for example kishin she like now took kishin under her care or whatever like she's pampering her him and 
<laughs> and now like uh, she's probably like getting more stronger like um, making more uh, like army uh, making her army stronger and probably like going to uh, fight Shusen with all their f like force and Shusen is also like going to take all of their best fighters and go fight like this is just like I don't know like strength like this guy is stronger so I'm taking him under me and like I'll use him to fight but Medusa like just looking at Medusa she has nothing she is like a little kid now she has no power nothing and she's like using like using all of her information all of the things bargaining chips and just like playing a game like this like that is the thing that I really like about the whole situation <coughs> Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this was basically this episode. Oh, also one thing, I always think about like talking about this, but I all like always forget. Like one thing I really uh, like is quite unique is you guys have seen the um, like uh, when like getting into Shinigami's place, they are like these huge gate kind of things. Uh, those are like uh, I think like those are like uh, what are they actually called? Um, just a sec. I think they're called Tori or something like Shrine Gates. Uh, I think they're like Shrine Gates. Uh, like I'm not sure about the Japanese name. It is something with T, Tori or something. Like you know, like when getting into a shrine, there's like these huge kind of gates with like a design like this kind of uh, with an arc kind of thing. Uh, those are that like that but at the same time there is like a blade of a like a guillotine in it so this kind of like makes it uh like shrines are kind of like uh i don't know like uh, holy places yeah shrines are kind of like holy places and those things are uh like um like those things are uh, i think like considered to be like some kind of a good like kind of thing i'm not sure about the whole thing about but there is something like holy about that so that mixed with the like the blade of the guillotine <laughs> like that is quite a contrast and i really like i've like um noticed this a lot of times in like whenever like the we go to like shinigami's place and this thing comes up and i always think like yeah i'm going to talk about this in like at the end but i always forget so yeah i like remembered it this time so i just wanted to like say that like it is really quite unique like the thing with the shrine i think that is kind of like uh, the those pillars and those beams i think those are kind of i think they are like uh, try to like those are like shrine gates and that it's like mixed with uh, the guillotine uh, blade so yeah like it's kind of funny like uh, shinigami is like uh, like death himself so like death and guillotine and the same time shrine so yeah okay uh, yeah that's just something that i wanted to like say anyways um so yeah and what else was in this episode yeah that was basically it so now at least um yeah she was in has brew with them so <clears throat> yes that's a positive thing i don't know i don't even know what the like actual power of brew is like they were kind of making it a big deal like saying something like arachne was saying something that yeah this is like the one of the strongest uh, mag magical tools so obviously like Shin shibusen would be like scared of this like of the information that yeah we have the brew so that uh, like is no longer the case now like they have the brew and i think they can like uh, threaten them back saying that yeah I, we know that you don't have the brew we have it so yeah they, like they can threaten them back but i don't know what sh like shinigami is like planning to do with that so he was just collecting the like tools uh, which are like related to Avon's. Yeah, that, that that's another secret like which is going around like the whole Avon kind of like thing that's going up. The Avon secret. Who knows what that is actually about? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know what to think about this. Like, is like Medusa kind of joining them good for them or it's bad? Like. At least they have some kind of information now of the whole Arachne thing. So, but at the same time, like, uh, like Stan kind of went mad again, and who knows what she's going to do. Oh boy! Well, a lot of things happening at the same time, and uh, yeah.
Okay, so yeah, that was uh, this episode. Uh, nothing much else, like nothing else. And this was only it. And uh, and Maka and uh, like all of the Shibutsen have quite uh, like it's quite angry at Medusa. Obviously, like Maka, uh, like a lot more because uh, Krona is like all affected by this. And I don't know uh, what Krona is going to do now. Like he again became traumatized after seeing Medusa. So uh, like. <laughs> I don't know like he kind of made like took a step forward now Medusa comes in Shibutsen and he again like gets terrified and he's probably like going to go a few steps back so I don't know what to feel about that so yeah so guys yeah guys that was uh, it that was episode number 40 of Soul Eater so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to like hit the subscribe button and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything about the anime in general i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys um i'll be back with a new soul eater episode uh, after one week so same time so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day